Hey, second grade. This is the only video that we're going to have this week um, for April 13th through the 17th. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's do a tiny bit of review. Last time we were together, we were introduced to the letter, the digraph CH and the letter J. Now, the keyword and sound for digraph CH is chair ch, and then jar j for J. Okay, so that was just a little reminder of what we did last time. Now, when I left you last time, I had asked you to just go ahead and copy down all of the coding that we would need for page 39. So I'm going to circle up, I mean, not 39, 139. And I asked for you to write down all the coding for that page. So I hope you have that done. And I don't know if you went ahead and coded those or not. But if you didn't, these are the ones that you'll be doing on your own. You're going to do number one, two, three. We're going to do four together, or if you've already done it, we'll just check it. Okay. And then we have five, six, seven, and then you'll do nine and ten if you haven't already gotten those done. All right. So, make sure you have everything you need, your binder, a pencil, um, a little bit of paper, like notebook paper, and um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started then. Now, on number four, let's go ahead and start coding, and on the word, on this word, they, it's an instant word, so we're just going to circle that, and then we come here, a vowel and a closed syllable is short, coat it with a brief. Oops, let me make that a little better. And twin consonants make one sound, mark one out. A vowel and a closed syllable is short, coat it with a breathe. Underline digraph CH, underline digraph CK. Circle the. And look what I see on this word. I see a suffix, so we box that suffix first. Suffix less. Okay. We have a base word in front, so. We find its vowel, a vowel and a closed syllable is short, coat it with a breathe, and that's all we have there. Next word, a vowel and a closed syllable is short, coat it with a breathe, and underline digraph CK. And let's read this sentence. It says, they will check the helpless duck. Let's read it again. They will check the helpless duck. Good job. All right, so we're going to go on to number eight. And first word, an A after a W says ah, so we code that with a diaresis, which is two dots. Circle the. Then a vowel and a closed syllable is short, code it with a breathe. And notice we have a comma there. We don't code commas, but we do need to be aware that is somewhere that we need to pause for just a second and then continue reading, all right? So, a vowel and a closed syllable is short, coat it with a breathe, and then we're going to underline digraph TH, and this one says V, so we're going to put a voice line through this one. A vowel and a closed syllable is short, coat it with a breathe, underline digraph CK. A vowel and a closed syllable is short, coat it with a breathe, and a vowel and a closed syllable is short, coat it with a breathe. And let's read this sentence. I chose this one because um, I wasn't sure what it meant, so I had to look up a word. So it says, wad the jib, then pick it up. Let's read that again. Wad the jib, then pick it up. Good. Now, I didn't know what a jib was or why you could wad it up because I thought maybe wad up paper, but I looked it up, and so I have a picture of that for us. And a jib is a sail on a sailboat. So, it's like the smaller triangular sized one. And so, I guess you could, if you were to grab the jib, I guess you could wad it up, okay? So, that was what our sentence was about. Wad the jib, wad it, and then pick it up. All right. So I thought y'all might be interested in that. 
let's go on to the next thing. Now we're going to need you to open your binder and you're going to go to page 140. Now this is wrap and it says wrap uh, 23.1. All right, so on here we're going to go real fast. We're just going to do the top line of the first section and the top line of the second section. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up and say everything else on this page I'd like for you to read to someone or y'all could do an I say you say or play a little game like that with it. Okay, so here we go. Top line. I say you say or I say you echo. Job. Jog. Jam. Jot. Jug. All of the j, the voiced fat puff sound that we've been talking about. Okay. Next, this middle section, chop, chug, chip, chin, chat. All of those had the, the fat puff, ch, but it was unvoiced on that, wasn't it? Okay, and then they're all mixed up in that bottom section. So this is something that I'd like for you to practice with someone. Okay, so you can grab someone, you can read those to them. Next, we're going to go on to page 141, and this gets a check mark as well, and you are going to do the same thing. We're going to read the top line of the first section, the top line of the second section, and then I'd like for you to grab someone and you'll read all of these. See how quickly you can do it, maybe. Okay, so here we go. I say, you say, champ, chink, chuck, chant, chomp. I hope you're echoing with me. Here we go. Next one. Check, chump, chest, chunk, chimp. All right. And so the rest are left for you. Okay. Now, we're going to go on. And we're going to do the spelling where I say a sound and you spell the sound. So on this, you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. So go grab those if you don't have those already. And here are, here are our um, directions that we need to follow. Um, look and listen, echo, name, and write. All right, so I need to pick myself up a pen. I think I'll use blue today. And so remember, I'm going to keep repeating things. And so we're going to go as quickly as we can through here. So look and listen. Ch echo. Name and write. What says ch? Digraph CH. Good. That's our new learning, isn't it? Okay. Look and listen. G. Echo, name and write, J, good. Look and listen, B, echo, name and write, B. Look and listen, E, name and write, E, E's short sound, isn't it? Look and listen, G. Echo, name and write, G. Look and listen. Now my teeth are on my lips for this one. Mm. Echo, name and write, V. Look and listen. Echo, name and write, that's that very quiet one. W, the round air. Look and listen. Ah, name and write. A, I think I forgot to say echo on that one, but A. Look and listen. Mmm, echo. Name and write. M. Look and listen. My teeth are going to be on my lip. Echo, name and write, F. 
look and listen. Echo. Name and write. P. Look and listen. T. Echo. Name and write. T. Look and listen. A. Uh. Echo. Name and write. U. Look and listen. E. Echo. Name and write. Digraph. E. E. Look and listen. Oops, let me grab my card. D. Echo. Name and write. D. Look and listen. <sighs> Echo. Name and write. H. Look and listen. My tongue is going to be outside my teeth a little bit. Echo. Name and write. Digraph. T-H. Look and listen. Ah. Oh. Echo. Name and write. O. Look and listen. S. Echo. Name and write. S. Good. Look and listen. K. Echo. Name and write. K. But there are three ways that we know how to spell this sound. Do you know all of those? We have a C before an A, O, U, or any consonant, and digraph C, K. Very good. Let's look and listen. My tongue is outside my mouth here. Mm. Echo. Name and write. This is the voiced digraph TH, so I'll be placing a line on it. Look and listen. I. Echo. Name and write. I. Look and listen. Mm. Echo. Name and write. Digraph NG. Look and listen. Mm. Echo. Name and write. N. Look and listen. Z. Echo. Name and write. Z. Good work. All right. Give me a second. I'll clear my page and we'll start on the next thing. Okay. My next page is up here. And what I'd like for you to do is to pause the video and you need to get your sound cards and I'd like you to have your sound tray set up just like this. And our new sound card, the Fat Puff, is going to be down here at the bottom if you'll notice. So take a moment, go get those things ready, and then come right back. All right, we're going to, we are going to get started here. Okay, so we have a, our procedures are a look and listen, echo, if you have a mirror, echo in your mirror. If not, you can just kind of feel, okay? And then we bring down our sound cards and then we name and replace them back into the deck, okay? So for our first sound look, okay? It's going to be E, G. My tongue is outside my mouth on that one. E, G. Very quiet sound on that one, okay? So, first sound, E. What's happening there? Ah, that's a smiling vowel, isn't it? G. Brand new sound. Which card is it? Fat puff, right? Okay. And then our last one is Tongue's out. Where do we find one with the tongue out? There we go. E, G, 
Let's replace. Whoops. Smiling Val E. Okay. Voiced Fat Puff J. And unvoiced Tongue Chiller. Next. Okay. Listen. We have on t ch. Echo that. On t ch. First sound is on. Where is that coming from? On. It's coming from our nose, isn't it? Okay. Our next sound was t t. What's our tongue doing in here? Tapping the top of our mouth. And then ch. New sound. Grab that new sound card there. Okay. Um, t, ch. Okay. So let's label or let's say their names as we put them up. Back nasal. Um. We have an unvoiced tongue tapper. T. And an unvoiced fat puff. Ch. Whoops. Didn't grab it. All right. We're going to go ahead and go on to the next page. This video is going to be just a little bit longer than our usual ones. We're going to go with our same setup. Do it a little bit different. I'm going to say a word. You're going to echo. Then we will unblend, pull down our sound cards, and wait to see if we add, take away, trade, or switch. All right. So, here we go. First word, sick. Echo, sick. Let's unblend. Sick. Three sounds. Let's pull out our sound cards for those. Our teeth are together and we're pushing a little thin stream of air out. Sick. Okay, smiling vowel, of course. K, k, back kicker, right over here. Okay, so if this is sick, show me chick. Echo, chick. Unblend, ch, i, k. Oh, it's still three sounds. So this is either going to be a, a trade or a switch. So let's do this. Ch, I, k. Oh, that's the same sound back here, and that's the same sound here. So we have to trade, don't we? Okay, so let's put up this, and we need a ch, ch. That's our new sound, isn't it? It's going to be our fat puff there. Okay, if this is chick, Show me chin. Echo. Chin. Let's unblend. Ch. I. N. Three sounds again. Let's do that on our cards now. Ch. I. N. Oh, I think I heard something different at here. This, that N is not a back kicker. So we need to put that one up. Okay. Mm. Which one of those would be mm? It's coming from our nose, isn't it? So that's a nasal sound. All right, here's our last one for this group. Okay. If this is chin, show me chip. Okay, echo. Let's unblend. Ch -i Three sounds again. See where it's different. Ch, I, P. Ah, oh, it's at the end. It's the final position again, isn't it? So we're going to need to put that one away. And then we need a P. P. All right. That's this right here. That's a fat, I mean, not a fat puff, a lip puffer. P. Ch, I, Good job. Okay, let me switch the page. And it looks like we've gone nearly 20 minutes for this lesson. And I know that's kind of hard to try to pay attention to for that long of a time. 
But when we come back, we will be dealing with our sound cards. So if you wanted to keep your sound cards set up just like we have them now, you'll be ready for our next week's lesson. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you again next week on our video. We'll talk to you later and see you then. Bye-bye.